Today we're going to learn about using semicolons. There are three usages for them that you need to know. First is combining sentences. Now hopefully you remember that in order to be a sentence, there's three criteria that must be met. One, it has to have a subject. Two, it has to have a verb. And three, it has to express a complete thought. I went to the store and they were out of cookies are both examples of sentences. We can also call them main clauses. A clause has a subject and a verb. An independent clause is a sentence. You can also have a dependent clause. We'll see one of those in a little bit. So we got these two sentences here, and they both have a subject and a verb. I went and they were to the store and out of cookies those are what that's right prepositional phrases now independent clauses are sentences they have a subject and a verb and they express a complete thought they can stand all by themselves because they're out of cookies is not an independent clause. It is a clause, though. It has a subject, and it has a verb. They were. But when we stick the word because in the front of it, because they're out of cookies, well, it's no longer a complete thought. There's because means there's cause and effect. Because they're out of cookies, what? What happened? because they're out of cookies. So, just so you know, if it has a subject and a verb and it's a complete thought, then it's an independent clause. It can be a dependent clause if it has a subject and a verb and doesn't have a, express a complete thought. Now, we cannot put two sentences together with just a comma. I went to the store, they were out of cookies. That is often what you will see in uh, on a grammar test. Anytime you see a comma in the middle of a sentence and it's asking you about changing it, see if you have an independent clause, a sentence on both sides. You can't connect two independent clauses with just a comma. You can use a fanboy. I went to the store, comma, but they're out of cookies. Now the thing to notice is we're taking these two sentences. I went to the store, they're out of cookies, and connecting with a comma and the word but. That's a coordinating conjunction. It's connecting those two sentences. That's okay. You can also just put a semicolon in there. Now, you can't connect every two sentences with semicolons. That would just make for an odd style of writing. But if the two sentences really, really, really go together well, you could put them together with a semicolon. I went to the store. They're out of cookies. The second usage of semicolons also is combining independent clauses, but it also has transition words. I went to the store, semicolon, however, they're out of cookies. That is more common than just sticking two sentences together. So it might have however, meanwhile, next, similarly, therefore, for example, and there'll always be a comma after the transition word. I went to the store. However, they're out of cookies. I like going camping, semicolon. For example, I'm going to Louisiana next week. And the third time to use a semicolon is to make a list of items a little more clear, 
particularly when the list has other punctuation in it. For example, how many people came to my birthday party? We have my brother, Jim, my sister, Becky, my mom and dad, Philip, my brother-in-law, Maddie, my sister-in-law. Is that 10 people? Well, I'm sure that you didn't count up 10 people. You realize it's my brother, Jim, my sister, Becky, my mom and dad, Philip, my brother-in-law, and Maddie, my sister-in-law. But you always want to make sure when you can with punctuation to make your sentences as clear as possible. So we just replace these, some of these commas with semicolons. My brother, Jim, my sister, Becky, my mom and dad, Philip, my brother-in-law, and Maddie, my sister-in-law, all came to my birthday party. And so a semicolon, I never want you to think of things as, well, there's a pause there, so I'll put a punctuation there. The punctuation makes us pause. The pause doesn't require punctuation. So I'm pausing because of the punctuation. I'm not putting punctuation, because some people just pause when they speak. I like to go to the store, but I don't need a punctuation in that pause. Here's an example from a website. Classic science fiction sagas are Star Trek with Mr. Spock and his large pointed ears, Battlestar Galactica with its Cyclone Raiders, and Star Wars with Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, and Darth Vader. So I, I can read it properly. Punctuation makes me read it properly. Classic science fiction sagas are Star Trek with Mr. Spock and his large pointed ears, Battlestar Galactica with its Cyclone Raiders, and Star Wars with Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, and Darth Vader. So in these cases, they actually took out uh, some of the commas and then turned some of the other commas into semicolons. And so that's the three uses. One, to combine two sentences. One, to combine uh, two to combine two sentences with a transition word, and three, to make slightly complicated lists a little bit less complicated.